Okay, hello people, this is MHL Engineering. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make a UI web view um, in an iPhone application with Xcode. But before I start, start, I want to ask you, the viewer, a question. Should I keep, should I make my videos full screen so that you can see the full screen of the computer and I can upload in HD? Or should I keep it the way I am? Small and it follows the cursor. I'm sorry, I just wanted to know. So let's get started. Go into Xcode, go into File, New Project, View Based Application, choose, we can name it UI Web View. Web. I want to warn you, I'm not the best typer. Actually, horrible. Pretty, pretty bad. Um, so we can go into Classes once this opens up UI Web View Controller. H. Um, and we can start our first line of code. I'll try my best to explain what's happened. This is very simple, just two lines of code in the whole whole thing. Um, so let's just get started. IB with an IB outlet. UI web view. Web view. Space star. Um, web view. Semicolon. And that's all we have to enter here. So this IB stands for interface builder and this is the outlet you'll see where that um, comes into play when we're linking the things in the interface builder and the UI web view is user interface web view which is the web view itself like the um what you're going to be seeing the website and we just this is the name just web view so um, we can we're done there we can go to UI web view controller dot M and you'll see where these things come into play once we're a little farther along so yeah uh, don't even bother with this stuff up top just go right down we can go down to um right to here just take out these right here you don't need them and we can start our last line of code so right here what we're going to be doing is pretty much telling it when it loads up what site to go to, where to go to. So let's just put the bracket, open bracket, web view. See, we named that back there. Load request, which is what we wanted to load. Bracket, NSURL request. Make sure you type this right with all the caps or it won't work. Um, request with URL colon um, bracket NSURL sorry L URL with string and here we're gonna put at and in the quotation marks put any site you want but I'm just gonna do um let's just do Google HTTP colon forward slash forward slash www.google.com and um, close the brackets three times and put a semicolon and we are done here so here we were just basically telling it what to load when you opened it and we said load google.com it's pretty easy so um, we can just build a one to make sure there's no errors Succeeded, no errors. Great. Okay, now there's nothing there, so we have to build it in the UI web view controller.xib under resources. So just double click that, let it open up. Um, make sure you've saved that, which is pretty easy. Um, we can go into library here, drag in a web view. That's when you remember that when the UI web view um, so that's that and now we're gonna drag in a toolbar which is where and we're gonna drag in three more bar button items which is where the refresh loading back forward we're gonna put we can name this back we can name this full word we can just click on this make sure it's highlighted Go to the 
bar button item attributes, go to identifier, custom, go down, and make this refresh. Do the same thing with that, but instead make it um, stop. Okay. Um, really easy. Now all we have to do is right click this, drag it right into the UI web view, and um, we can go back to go back, forward to go forward, reload to reload, um, X to stop loading. It's as simple as that. It's really great that they put that in there. So, and now we can just put a flexible space bar button item so it just separates them nicely. And now, the last thing, click on File Zoner, go to Web View Controller. Um, controller connections, just drag the web view right into the UI web view. Save it, quit it, and we're done. Build and run. See how this works. And there we go. It loads up Google. Let's search Google on Google. And um, we can reload this page. We can go back. Um, since it loads kind of fast, um, um, just click it and that'll stop it from loading. It works great. You can do this with any site. Uh, I hope this helped. If you have any suggestions, what I did wrong, what I stunk at, what I did well, or probably not. But um, yeah, this is thank you for watching and goodbye.